Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's video. Um, you may remember uh, last week I said I was going to stop doing my weekly updates and give you a random topic that interests me that I will discuss and give theories on as to what I think happened to that particular topic. Um, last week, it was what happened to the lost colony of Roanoke. And this week, I'm going to stick with my conspiracy theories, unsolved mysteries, and I'm gonna be asking the question, what happened to Jimmy Hoffa? Now, for those not familiar with who Jimmy Hoffa is, he used to be a labor worker, the leader of a labor, um, labor union, excuse me, the leader of a labor union in the 70s in uh, Michigan. And uh, he had connections and ties to the mob. And I believe in 1975, old Jimmy Hoffa went missing and Nobody knows what happened to him. He was legally declared dead, uh, I believe, five years after he was he went to he disappeared. So, since he's disappeared over the last forty plus years, people have speculated what happened to him and where's his body. So, for this discussion topic, I'm going to give you the theories on what happened to him, and then I'm going to give you theories on where his body is. So uh, we got two big juicy theories to go over. So uh, again, just uh, in a nutshell, Jimmy Hoffa was a um, the leader of a labor union in the 70s. And uh, yeah, he had connections to the mob and he went missing. And it was a big deal at the time. And 40 plus years later, we some people, some people like me, we still hear about his name. And it's just, it's just so weird to me. It fascinates me that a man can just disappear one day off the face of the earth and nobody knows what happened to him 40 years later. So let's get into the theories as to what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. The first theory is that he was killed by the mob. No surprise here. He had connections to the mob. He worked with the mob. It would, it would absolutely make sense as to why we haven't heard about him because, you know, if the mob wants you gone, they're going to do it and there's not going to be a trace of evidence whatsoever to suggest otherwise that it was the mob that did him in. So this is the most, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the most um, agreed theory of what happened to him is that he was killed by the mob. And I tend to agree with that. So again, I, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm taking a different approach that I did last week. But yeah, I, I tend to agree with the majority here that the, the mob was definitely possibly involved in his disappearance, possibly killed him. And that's why we haven't heard a thing about it, why there's no evidence to suggest of what happened to him. The second theory is that he is still alive in South America. I recently came across this one uh, when I watched the Bud, BuzzFeed um, investigation on it. And I don't know. I don't think he's still alive. To, to suggest that he's still alive living in South America with um, go-go dancers. That was the other thing. He's living in South America with go-go dancers. Look, it, it's a nice, positive, fun, happy, you know, thing to think, but no, there's just, there's no, ev I mean, there's a little bit of, I think BuzzFeed suggests that it'll give a little bit of evidence to support this, but I just don't see it. Like, to hear nothing over 40 years. Like I understand like maybe he went to witness protection and that's what South America is doing for him. But no, it just, I've never heard of it until recently. So like, I don't know. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it, to me, it seems very highly unlikely. The third theory is that his adopted son killed him. I took notes a chance to verify, you know. This one that I've actually heard several, I've read this report in several, um, in several things. Uh, he did have an adopted son that he was close with and his son wanted to be like him. He wanted to bite, he wanted to, he wanted to get um, close with the mob. He wanted to ha have that connection with the mob. And it suggested that the mob knew that they wanted Hoffa gone and to get the son involved 
they suggested to him that he kill his father. Now, the one thing to know about Jimmy Hoffa is the last time he was seen was in front of a restaurant and he got into a car. Many people have speculated that Hoffa would never have gotten into the car with two strangers. There was two people in the car. Many people speculate that he would never have gotten into the car with two people he didn't know. So he must have known one or both of the people in the car. And it's speculated that his adopted son was one of the people that was in the car. So obviously he is his adopted son, so he would trust them so he gets into the car. And it's also implied that they drove somewhere and the son acted as a hitman and offed his father for the mom. Not the worst theory, not the craziest theory. There's very little to support this, but it's, it is out there. Out of the three theories of what happened to him, I'm going to go with number one. Because, I mean, if the mob wants you dead, boom. They don't have to clean up anything. Yeah. So now the theory, this is probably the, to me, this is the funnest part. What happened to Jimmy Hoffa's body? Assuming he's dead, which we all would, the majority of the world would believe that he's dead. So assuming it's not that he's living in Africa, uh, South America with go-go dancers, what happened to Jimmy Hoffa's body? These are good. By the way, I didn't make any of these up. These are out there. Just Google it. The first one is probably my favorite one, is that he's buried under the 50-yard line of Giant Stadium. I, I, I have so many questions on this one. First of all, why Giant Stadium? If he was in Michigan, why did they drive to New, York, New Jersey? New Jersey, of all places, to bury his body. And why would they do it in a football stadium? I've heard this one over the years, and I don't know. It's just left me scratching my head. I mean, to bury a person in a football stadium on the 50-yard line is just the craziest thought ever. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's a theory that he's buried on the 50-yard line of Giant Stadium, or he was, rather. Uh, another one is that this one, I recently came across this one. He was cremated under an unknown name. So the, the night that Jimmy Hoffa went missing, a funeral home in the area reported to, reportedly had two bodies come in under unknown names. The first one was a 97-year-old woman whom they didn't know. And the other one was a John Doe. And there was really no explanation given. Two guys came in, they delivered the body, and they said cremate the body. And the guy did. It's speculated that that body of that unknown man was Jimmy Hoffa. Again, I think this is totally possible. It, again, it would explain it. The mafia is not really to me, doesn't seem to me like the, hey, let's go to a funeral parlor and cook up this dead guy that we just killed. But then again, I mean, crazier things have happened with the mafia. So this would be an easy, probably a, an easy way to do it. So I think this is totally, totally possible. The third theory is that he was crushed by a car crusher. So one theory is speculated that Jimmy Hoffa, after he was killed, was stuffed in the back of a tr uh, trunk, the car that he got into. It was, uh, it was believed that he got stuffed in the back of the trunk. And it's also theorized that this car was driven to a junkyard and the car crushes that they have in these junkyards crushed the car with Jimmy Hoffa in it. Again, crazy. Crazy. But not the craziest theory. I think it's I think this is absolutely possible. This is totally, this is the mafia written all over it. This could totally be what it was. You know, you just leave the guy's body in the trunk. Take to the junkyard, crush the car, crush the evidence. What a bad way to go, though. I mean, if you were already dead, but imagine if he was still alive in the back of the trunk and they just knocked him out and then the car crusher like killed him. Although I imagine you, the guy that's running the machine would hear the scream, but my, my God, either way, just what a way to go. The fourth one is that he is buried in cement slash cement mixer. So it's also theorized that there are several places to which, you know, you got the old mafia cement treatment. 
meaning they buried him under cement. Killed him, poured some nice fresh cement over him, boom, they'll never know. Also, I've, heard, I've also read another, a couple of other ones that he was, you know, put in a cement mixer and, you know, again, just dumped into a location that needed cement, boom, never know. I don't, I just feel like this one's a little too cliche. Like, hey, let's bury this guy in cement, you know, like, that's, that's like every gangster movie ever, you know? So I'm not on that one. The last one, this one is the only one that has been proven false. It was speculated for a few years, probably since the 90s, that he was in some person's driveway. So in other words, that, you know, back in the day when he was killed, that this location, whoever it was, he was buried in this person's, what would be this person's driveway. Um, a woman now lives there now, and they wanted to put this theory to rest. So they actually um, dug up this woman's driveway and sure enough, there was no remains on her property in her driveway. So they confirmed that Hoffa's body was not in this driveway. So at least they put that one to bed. As for the cement, he's you know you're buried in cement, um, a car crusher, and yeah, the Giants on the 50-yard line of Giants Stadium and. They, uh, it would be cremated by these two guys that just went to a funeral home and said, hey, we want you to burn this body up for us. None of those have been confirmed as to whether or not. These are just theories. Personally, I'm going to go with what happened to him. I think the mob killed him. What do I think happened to his body? I'm going to go with number two. I think the two guys went to the funeral home and they're like, hey, you don't say nothing. We're not going to say nothing. We want you to cremate this body. Because it just makes sense, you know? The the other one I would say is the car, the car crusher. Especially because there is theory to suggest that he was in the back of a trunk. Probably that car that he was last seen getting into. So, so yeah. That's been my uh, video on my theories of what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. What do you think happened to him? What do you think happened to his body? If you have thoughts on this, please comment me. Uh, leave a comment on the, you know, message me, whichever, if you have any theories. Um, I might be back on here later. I know I said last week that when I did a video, I was going to be back on Friday, and I didn't. Stupid me, right? I'm trying to do more of these, so maybe I'll do a horror one. That would make sense, right? Because I write mainly horror. I don't, I only have one crime thriller, but I've done two crime, like two mis mysteries. But yeah, so... Hopefully, if, you know, those watching this on the playback, enjoy this and you'll give me your thoughts and maybe I'll be back tonight to do one. If not, I'll definitely try to do one later this week. So until then, 